Good morning, guys. Good morning. So today on this episode, we're taking you to the beautiful city of Bitang, Korea. So Bitang, Korea is actually a little bit south, I would say one hour and a half from Koraleho. It's in the countryside and it used to be the former capital of Rete Aventura. So there's going to be a lot of um, architecture and beautiful site to visit. Yes, and today we're going to use new equipment, green grip. So more about green grip you can find in the comment section. But let's start our journey. We left Coralejo after our breakfast. As the road was empty, the journey was really comfortable to drive. Before arriving to Bitang, Korea, we passed Moro Velosa viewpoint, where we saw two impressive bronze statues representing the kings of ancient Fuerteventura. gonna talk to you guys so the road how do you like the road Rodi? Uh, I'm loving it I'm driving as slow as I can you know to really enjoy this beautiful landscape it's a gift really to be driving with such beautiful weather um, because like in the past few days we had um, a bit of Kalima so Kalima is like basically the sun coming from North Africa like to the island so it's a bit dusty and a bit foggy at the same time but still warm so you can see really much, you know, um, at the horizon. But here, the beautiful weather, super clear, and look, I mean, the view are just the views are just incredible. Really well. really. Yeah, on my side, I just would like to add that the road reminds me about the road to Sacalobra, from yeah. Mallorca. It's a bit, you know, so many places to turn right, left, up and down. Yeah, zigzag, but like it keeps us uh, on our toes. So this, this is cool. Yeah. Elodie was right. It took us one hour and a half drive to Betancuria. So we started our tour. What's that, what, Elodie? What so here we are just in front of the city hall, the Ayutamiento Betancuria. So basically the city hall has been made in 1400, 1404 exactly, so there's 600 years of history. The church in front of you is called Santa Maria de Betancuria. It was the first church on the island of Fuerteventura that was in charge of converting many Marojeros to Christianity. Inside this landmark, you can find a mixture of extremely interesting Baroque, Renaissance and Gothic architecture.
after walking around the town and visiting the church, uh, I got starving, Elodie was starving. Yeah, so we decided to find a really good restaurant specialized in grill. And we ordered a few tapas. So right now we have like tomato al anido, which is basically tomato vinaigrette. And we took like tablo de queso, tabla de queso, por favor, which is like a different type of goat cheese because we're in the region of goat cheese. So we really wanted to try like some typical traditional goat cheese here with marmalade. And obviously, you know, the basic aioli with um, bread. So moving forward, after that, we're gonna enjoy our beautiful food and we're gonna go to a goat farm. So this is the point where we're gonna really see the goats and see how they're doing their queso here of Cabra, which is very, very famous. Yeah, looking forward for that. Yeah. Because of COVID-19, we are able only to see the farm from outside. But no worries, we had fun. I guess the goat doesn't like me. basically want to use the benefit and drive to Ahoy! To see the caves you have to arrive at the beach. Elodie, 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 you are at the beach. Remove mascara. Yeah, you're right. Thanks so much. Sometimes, you know, it becomes a second nature. From there, you need to hike by the cliffs like me. Hmm, where will be a better view of the caves? Left or right? Let's go right. After 10 minutes of hiking, I arrived. Do you like the caves? Let us know in the comment section. Thanks for watching. <laughs>